don't care what y'all say, I love me some Alicia Keys. She can do no wrong in my eyes, so she is speaking out because she is tired of the judgment. She said she's speaking out and she is upset and frustrated about labels after her son told her he didn't want to rock his rainbow manicure for fear of being judged. Okay, girl, so listen, you. I would tell your son, you know what, we're going to teach you how to protect yourself. All right, we're going to go to the shooting range. We're going to do some karate because, listen, this is a bad world and you need to be protected, okay? You, you, hey, live your truth, do what you got to do, but you got to protect yourself and have the strength and the courage, okay? Your strength can be in a gun to say. It can be in a knife. And these girls, these girls, your daughters, hey, I would tell my daughters, we're going to have to learn how to protect ourselves because there's too many of these men are forcing themselves on it. Dude, I know y'all heard about that girl at Clark Atlanta that her, her, um, her roommate set her up. Girl, that was sad. Rest in peace to her. But if she had, a, um, you know what I'm saying, a piece on her, Oh, girl, it would have went a different way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we got to start instilling protection. Protect yourself, all right? So anyway, let's hear, because I talk all day. Make sure y'all like, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Gossip Girl, XOXO. You know you love me. I love you guys, too, so go ahead. Tell her how you feel. The other day, I went to the nail salon with Genesis. He's in the chair and he's like, I want rainbow. So he tells the lady that he wants rainbow colors on his, on his nails. And she brings all of these colors and she paints each nail a different color. And after he painted his nails, he looked at me and said, mommy, I don't want this on my nails. And I was like, why? You were so sure you're good. And he was like, people are not gonna like it. Can you believe this? Four years old, he's four. And he already understands the concept that someone's going to judge him because he chose rainbow colors on his nails. And I told him, why? Nobody's going to judge it. They're going to love it. It's so cool. Like, look how creative you are. Look how amazing you had this idea. Stick with it. You chose it. You liked it. You do it. Who cares what anybody else says? And so I said, plus, you know, a lot of guys paint their nails. This is not like some strange thing that you only do. He was like, really? I was like, yeah. So many, so many. The other day, I went to feel better, but it just got me to thinking how completely judged we are all the time. The way I see it is that there is masculine and there's feminine energies inside of us all, you know? And that's, period. That's just how it is. And it gets concerning to me that we can't just explore these different sides of ourselves, you know, these different energies that are within us. And even for me myself, you know, I oftentimes express the masculine energy that's inside of me. And it's very natural to me. That's how I feel. And all the time, if that happens, there's the judgments and there's the stereotypes and there's all the, the energy that comes toward that. And for my boys, you know, similar. If they want to express the feminine energy that's inside of them. There's all these judgments and all these rules and stereotypes. Feel better, but it just got me to thinking how stereotypes and, and vibes, and it's it's really frustrating to me. I'm actually really, really frustrated about it. And I, I ask myself, why is that? Like, why can't we just express the different energies that are inside of us? You know, this is a very normal, ancient, powerful, spiritual understanding that we all have masculine and feminine energies and we should be able to explore and express them however we want to. What do you think? That was my rant. It's a major rant. I did that. Well, go ahead Still with your bad and... self, Alicia. Oh. Alicia, go ahead. Listen, I think you're 100% right. You know, I feel like you say what I think about it. I feel like the people going to judge because it doesn't go for the traditional man agenda. 
because, you know, they put them in boxes. You got to be this way. Girls got to be this way and X, Y, and Z. And it's not necessarily who they, they are, but they are strict. And just like you say, well, because you're black, then you have to be this way and you can't be a part of this group. And people come up with that mentality feeling like, they can't really be themselves because they're restricted based on their color, based on their gender. So I'm rocking with you, girl. Be brave, be fearless, and do what you got to do. But I will say this. There's a lot of crazy people in this world, and I will want you to protect yourself. I will want you to tell your kids, teach them karate, whatever they got to do, do certain trainings so they can speak up and speak out and never be bullied because a lot of these kids are getting bullied but they're afraid to speak out they're afraid to tell their parents because shit the parents bullying their ass too so you know I, I would definitely hey be on guard be ready be ready okay enjoy your life but also be on guard for a baby okay I would you know how people say um I hope the struggle don't come for me this is my thing. The struggle going to come whether you pray for it or not. But have pray for strength. You know, get these kids strength, okay, to endure and to overcome and to be empowered. Give these people strength to overcome the bullying and be empowered, okay? And use all that negative energy into their positive energy so they can use it to their benefits. That's what I say. Comment. Let us know what y'all think about this. And I will see y'all sooner than later. Bye.